This is a Rap Star Promo exclusive. 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 It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gutter title, you know, my dog. So I gotta really represent for the ladies. So. No, that's real. That's real. I see you throwing around the flags in the video. I said, okay. Yeah, you see my little pink flag. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I was saying, she got a million girls in the background too, and they all flagged up. I said, okay. You know what I mean? So, um, let me ask you this: What is Jackie O? Well, who is Jackie O to you, and what does she represent? If you could just let the people know. Um, well, Jackie O was, was, was JFK's um, wife, Jacqueline Onassis. Um, but to me, she kind of like, she represented more than just a man's wife. You know, like she, she really held it down for her family. You know, not only being a stylist, but, but you know, just being educated, strong. Um, she raised her kids well. And um, she was very supportive when it came to you know the, the politics when she when it came to her husband when it came to like a lot of lot of things so um, that's what it represented for me and I just decided that you know it's it's cool for for us to have a, a Caucasian icon but why not have a, a African American icon as well so I just kind of stole the name and, and you know made it mine. Okay, no, no, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. What did you represent? If somebody didn't know. Jackie O, which I know they do, but you know a lot of people just hear the records. Um, what would you say that you that you represent overall? Well, she represented her thing her way, and I, I I represent my thing my way. But as a female, we all you know we all have struggles. So I I definitely represent the struggle, you know, with females um, just being uh, just being in this game itself. You know, it's male dominated. It's it's not easy, um, and I represent. I represent the, the endurance that it takes to, to just stay in the game. You know, with, with a female that has been through what I've been through, they would have given up right. a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? But I endure, and, I, and, I, and I, I, I mean well, you know, with the struggle. I don't, you know, I'm not out to just, you know, do wrong. I, I mean well, but, you know, I can't change what I've been through, but I, I refuse to be reduced by it. So that's what I represent. No, that's, that's real. Now, for the people that don't understand what you what you just said, because all they see, you know, they see the video, they see the bottle popping. I know a lot of them see you like independently, you know, like Soul Train, and you know, it's like with Nookie and a, and a bunch of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Where is the struggle at? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, before- this is this is the struggle. Um, from day one when I. I got down with um, Po' Boy Entertainment um, from day one. I was out there with them dudes, you know, hanging up posters, passing mm-hmm. out CDs. You know, I was there. I I, I I was one of the founders, you know what I'm saying? And um, okay. it, it takes me back, you know, all the way back to those days, um, Memorial Day weekends, when we didn't have big budgets back then. We didn't have, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the Atlantic support and the Def Jam support. We were, we were all independent. And right. we pat we we walked around like we walked we we walked those streets on South Beach passing up CDs and hanging up posters. I was there, you know what I'm saying. I wasn't the artist that sat back and waited, you know, for 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 a label to get it popping. I was out there too. I was doing what I could, and I I still had my my hands in other little things that I wasn't supposed to be in to try to help. You understand what I'm saying? So right. when I say it's a struggle, I mean back from day one, it has always been a struggle. So um. When, when things did start pop- This conference is being recorded. After I left, you know, when things started popping off in a major way, you know, I felt like, damn, I, I supposed to have been a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Because things right. didn't really get popping. You know, I was there from the beginning, from the struggle of it. But then when things got popping, it was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's what that's what I mean when I say the struggle of it. Mm. Now, I feel you. Let me ask you, how did you think females of you in the in the industry, like if you had to step outside of yourself and you and you say, okay, I think this is how people uh, view well, us. And, well, and, I can't, and, uh, well, I could I could only speak for me. You know, I okay. I would hope that people see my dedication and my and my grind. You know, and they I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me or nothing like that. But I I will hope that they see that you know. I, I I get it in. I've been out here. I I, I can endure this. I can, I'm built for this type of shit. So I hope that they can see that um, outside right. of what they may think. 
you know, because mm-hmm. there's a misconception about females, and there's a big stereotype when it comes to, to females that we get in the game, you know, to fuck ballers, or we get in the game to, you know, to have sex with, Trying to have sex with rich guys or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. and and I hate that. That's that, you know. I know there's a misconception about about female rappers or females in general that's in the business, and that's not necessarily true. You know, it, there is a struggle when it comes to us, and um, we've been. You know, sometimes we we treat it like you know we need men as our crutch. You know, and I think that's right. what people look at when they see when they see females like, oh, she need a nigga, like, oh, she, you know, she she gotta have a nigga. She need help. She need help writing, or she need help with this, or she help need help with that. But when I, when people look at me, I hope they they see that you know I'm a strong person. That you know a lot of things that I don't need. You know, and I, and I am here, um, just doing it out of you know out of the strength that I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Not because oh, I'm waiting for somebody to help me. So that's, that's, probably, um, that's probably something that I, I hope people look at me and say. No, I got you. I got you. So Jackie O never had no no ghost riders or nothing. I mean, you you, you never had no ghost riders. You, Man, you, you. I, I've been told I had some. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've had I've had um, Ross come at me. I've had Briscoe come at me and say, "Yeah, I wrote for her. I wrote for." Well, if they wrote for me, why? I'm still putting out records. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm still putting out records. If if they was writing, um, did they write all of this shit that came after Poe Boy too? That's crazy to me. So I mean, I mean, I've had people, you know, ask me, "Oh, who writes this stuff?" And I tell them I do, and they look at me like I'm crazy. Like, are you serious? Yeah, because I ha- I have the experience to write these things. I've been through this shit, and I had a struggle to, that I could be able to. This stuff comes from my heart. It ain't something that somebody else could write. I I feel appalled when I, when an artist has to have somebody write for them. You know why? Mm. Because back in the days when 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 rap. You know what I'm saying was 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 prominent and and people were coming out you know rapping or whatever. You spoke right. from the heart. So how can I have you speak from from my heart? You don't know what's in my heart. And, and when I see people needing ghostwriters and stuff like that to write for them, it's like you say from from day one. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, that ain't right. That ain't right when it comes to rap. Now R and B, that's something totally different. There's more vocal ability and vocal skills that they possess. So so we're able to we're able to to appreciate their vocal talent, along with the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, we kind of like the way Beyonce makes her voice flutter and that sort of thing. That's why we're attracted to her. We listen to the lyrics, too. But we, we like her beauty and that sort of thing, too. But but we like the way she's able to, and Mariah is able to make their voice fluctuate and that sort of thing. But when it comes to rap, like, come on, now. That shit got to come from the heart. Mm. No, that's, 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 that's deep. You said that. I ain't never heard that, that take on... As far as the writing, so you don't feel like if somebody look busted up or something, and you got somebody that's, you know, uh, you know, they look kind of like, you know, Jackie O. She, she 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 got a body together. She on point. You don't feel like maybe that other person should be in the spotlight and write, and write for somebody else, write live for somebody else. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody's on a hustle. I mean, if if you could, yeah, yeah, money, period. But- I rip for people. You know what I'm saying? I, don't get me wrong. Everybody's on their hustle. If you can make a dollar out of it, you know, I ain't complaining about that. Do your thing. But I'm saying, mm-hmm. you you asked me about like well, about writers, Jack- and, and you know what I'm saying, yeah. like and about me. Um, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I just I just can't I just can't see it. Now that's real. L- l- let me ask you this: What keeps you motivated? Because you said struggles, and people would have thought you. You know, uh, 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 set down, but you, you yes, keep yes, continue yes. to come with music. Oh, you continue yes, to come yes. with videos. You continue to haters. stay out there. What? It's, it's definitely the haters, baby. It, it it has to be. Like I think if if it was all love, I probably would sat down a long time ago. Because I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> they love me. They love me. But I gotta make them love me. They hate me, but I gotta turn that shit around. I gotta say, see, I told you you would love me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I mm. it, it, it's the hate that motivates me to make them love me. That's the weird shit. So the hate keeps you going. Yeah, yeah. the hate definitely keeps me going. Mm. But it's, it's, it's still, you know what? I don't see that much hate. Uh, I, I see a lot of people that, that like, yo, where Jackie at? What she been up to? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just, it's, you need to come down here to Miami. <laughs> you need to no, come. No, up. that's real tough. How often you be in Miami? No, you know what? I ain't saying let me, me now. Let me, let me tell you something. Every city I go in, I mm-hmm. love. From the Carolinas to Georgia, even in Tampa, they show me love. Like, no, I know they love you. 
it, huh. it's, it's Miami. Like, and I'm not going to say my fans because I have a show tonight. It's not, it's not, it's not my fans. It's not the people um, of Miami. It's the, it's the politics and the bullshit and the DJs and the, you know what I'm saying? These label niggas, all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when I leave Miami, it's like I'm in a whole different place. You know what I'm saying? It's sad because I'm born and raised here, and it's you're talking about three, four niggas that think that they could extort people or think that they could say what they want to say or, or, or roadblock you or whatever to keep you from eating, and that shit ain't going to happen. This is a Rap Star Promo exclusive. 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 Exclusive.